Hello everyone. Um, I'm on with a, another project uh, for my spider's leg. Uh, but uh, I was looking for uh, another servo controller. Uh, but the um, the PCA uh, uh, 9685, they're getting scarce now. There's, there's no need for them. I mean, they were originally made for LED, controlling LEDs, but uh, now that we have the intelligent LEDs, there's, there's no need for them, so I don't think they're making them anymore. But anyways, um, what's, somebody has made this. And uh, this basically emulates what the PCA uh, 9685 was doing. But this doesn't actually use a uh, the, the PCA 9685, obviously, because they're, they're going out of uh, uh, well, out of existence, shall I say. This actually uses a microcontroller. And the microcontroller has been programmed to do the same thing that we used the PCA uh, 9685 to do. So I think that's why they've called it the LU9685. It, it isn't actually an LU865 that's on this board. It's it's a microcontroller. Um, and they've gone dash 20 because they've actually broken, well, they've actually allocated uh, 20 pins to uh, pulse width modulation so uh, but they've only broken 16 out because I think only the first 16 are, are stable basically but we've still got the same as what we had before and then we've also got the uh, 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 control we can control it through UART as well so we can just connect it directly to uh, UART and we've got the uh, I2C again as we did before and we've got the uh, we've got this time we've only got five uh, five pins uh, to uh, change the address, um, which gives us we, so we can link thirty two of these on that the I two C, but obviously with the UART you can only connect one because that's the way UART works basically it's just one to one. Uh, so. Um, yeah, uh, uh, this is just to show my little application that I've written for this one as well, like I did with the uh, uh, PCA uh, 9685. I've written an application for this as well. So uh, let me just uh, bring that application up. Yeah, so it looks very similar to the, the last one I made. You can see that the, the last four of these are greyed out. Uh, I mean, if you want to try soldering some breakout pins onto the four pins that they haven't broken out to pins, um, you can try that and you can use these as well. But like I say, the, I don't think these are very stable. Uh, yeah, so if I just DC, you, I've made this so that you can either connect by UART or you can connect by I2C. Uh, the, the commands that are sent are are slightly different. What I'll do is I'll probably do another video and go into more detail about this uh, controller. Uh, I mean, uh, if people like it and want me to, to go further with it, just to say so. Uh, so if we can connect at the moment, I'm, I'm on the I2C. So, uh, oh yeah, if you flick this basically uh, onto UART, it, it'll put it onto the default 9600. Uh, this is the yield uh, uh, setting it needs to be on for connecting it through uh, UART. It only runs at 9600. So just remember when you go back to I2C that you need to put it to whatever speed you have. Like I say on this one, uh, I'm using this little Arduino. So I've, I've set the, uh, the USB on the Arduino to uh, 11500 and then it comes out onto the I2C. Uh, so, where has it gone? There we are. Yeah, so there we are. So if we connect with that, uh, we should be able to, I've made this little arm, uh, oh, this is my little spider arm that I've made. Uh, 
uh, I wanted all the uh, uh, servos hidden away inside the uh, the body of the, the thing. What I'm doing is I'm making units like this leg here, and, and then this will bolt. It's gonna this will bolt onto a body, and then we get eight of these, and then all the servers will be hidden away. And then so we've got a, a joint here, which is the one that swivels to the leg. Uh, if we just bring that one up, uh, where are we? Here we go. So get that into picture. And if I move this, there you can see that it, it moves with it. Where's my back? There we go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll just do it, like, I'll click on it like this. Do it step by step. There we go, you can see it move now. And come back down again. Let's go back to zero, uh, 90. Oh, it's moved. There we go, 90. Uh, yeah, and then, so we've also, I've also got a joint here. I've got a joint here and I've got a joint here as well so what we can do is uh, I can move the second joint uh, on the second server there we go put that to 90 and then this this joint here so we can move that joint with the next server so There we go. And then we've got this other joint at the end there, so we can move that one as well. And there we go. I think it looks a lot better like that. I made a little stand, so... Let's just put it on this little stand. There we go. And if I bring my camera down, let's see if we can get that into picture. Get my thumb out of the way. Yeah, so um, let's just click that. So there's me little leg and Here's my thing. What I can do is I can load a little bit of a script in. Uh, test we go there. And then what we can do is keep the camera still. Is run the uh, script. And it'll, it'll run through all that script as it did before. So uh, there we are. that's better. Anyways, so uh, I hope you like that. Uh, oh, yeah, another thing. Uh, let me just put the camera back up top. And I'll just move this out of the way a bit. Yes, uh, now I've got a laser. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, can we see that? I'm, go I'm going to make one out of wood, uh, laser cut wood. So hopefully... Uh, I think this will look a lot better. Let me just take that off the uh, stand. Right, so if I put that sort of there, I think uh, the wooden one, I think, personally, I think uh, the wooden one's going to look uh, a lot better as a, as a leg. And if you can ima if you imagine eight of those, let's get that out of it. Oh, I can't remember. Did I mention that you only need uh, one of these for the UART? If if you're on UART, I'm going to pick this up. Yeah, so because uh, this will run on a UART, you don't need a microcontroller. You just need the uh, the UART. If you've got a, a USB to UART, then you can just link the two together and off you go. No, no programming or anything. You can just plug this in wire this up 
and uh, and then off you go when you change it to your art simple as that uh, let's see have I, have I forgotten anything anyway did I show you this yeah ah, that's it and then uh, like I said I've drawn a wooden one I don't know if you can see it better in 3D on here but um, yeah um, yeah well I, I hope you found this interesting and oh yes and if uh, if you're interested uh, where's my uh, if we go to my if you go to me uh, home page uh, www.timsnet.co.uk well it's https I think you've got to do the full address there to get here go to my applications and then if you scroll down to the bottom one uh, like I say it's very similar to this first one I did that, that's the old uh, what is it uh, PCA9685 that actually has a, a PCA9865 chip on it but uh, the new one uh, this one has a, a microcontroller on it and it's been programmed to emulate what we had before because obviously the other chips are going extinct uh, and so yeah you can download it from there and, and try it out yourself uh, yeah I uh, hope that was uh, uh, some interest to somebody uh, I'll, I'll mark it up as the uh, LDU 9685 so if anybody searching for it may find this and uh, hopefully you'll uh, enjoy it Anyways, thanks for watching.